the same great team and service that you've always known, Ace Hardware Home Services, serving Hickory in the Catawba Valley area since 1990. Here as we talk Lenore Ryan volleyball and coming up the NCAA playoffs, Coach Berenger, let's first talk about the fact that uh, going into the conference tournament, the Bears were ranked eighth in the Southeast region. I know that was a bit of a concern because obviously eight teams make it, but hey, you're in and it was a lot better of a situation than you expected as a number five seed. Yeah, so what's interesting about being eight on uh, on when it got released is that the uh, Conference Carolinas did not have a team in the top eight, which meant their AQ would take the eighth spot. So I think it um, – Instead of panic, I think my girls like were angry, right? And so they took that kind of into the semifinals as like a, this is a must-win match, um, as well as you know hopefully the championship match. But so to come away with that win on Tuesday against Tusculum and then the win against Anderson, we knew that was going to lock us in. And then um, thought we played a, a good match against Winget. I think we could have um, had a little bit better hitting percentage, passed a little bit better. Um, we had three freshmen on the court, which always just makes for an interesting match, uh, especially in a championship match. But they played well. Um, and, you know, I think even though we lost, I think coming in on Monday and seeing that we got bumped from eight to five, uh, I think we were all taking bets that it would be six. So for us to be in fifth was actually awesome. So um, a cool experience to experience that together last night and excited to make the tournament. Let's talk about your first round opponent. Uh, obviously, we've got some time off before that, which is wonderful, but it does give you a chance to look into Augusta and, and figure some stuff out about them. That being said, ironically, the schedule was set up where you're going to play them, you're going to play their conference opponent in Flagler all on the same weekend, but that's when Hurricane Helene came through. Yeah, and we kind of hated to miss out on both of those matches because they're great, you know, for regional rankings, um, win or lose those matches, but we were kind of excited to go take on, take them on um, in the middle of our season. That's great competition. Um, it was going to be great for regional rankings, you know, down the road. Um, so we're excited to see them. I think we, we were hoping to see one of them, whether it's Augusta or Flagler. Um, and so we're excited to see Augusta. Uh, they're a well-coached team. They've made this only tournament the last couple of years, uh, made the final last year. I understand it winning, but that's you know, they made that final match, which uh, to go do that in an away gym, right? Like, no, they weren't at Augusta. They weren't winging it last year. So we know we're going up against a team that's had some experience in this tournament, um, and that has been successful this year. I mean, the Peach Belt's a great conference. They beat up on each other all year. So they've been fun to watch, and we're excited to, to put together a scout to take them on next week. Are you able to take what you were kind of leaning into before the hurricane canceled those games and go, okay, this is what we started? I mean, are they – has anything changed drastically with them? Are they kind of the same? Is that kind of something you guys take into account even? Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that because my assistant and I had both started our prep for Flagler and Augusta before the matches got canceled. So uh, we had already started a little bit prep on both of them. I think now it's going back and look at that and adding all the stats from all the matches that have happened since then, right? Have there been changes in positions? Um, for us, there's been changes. I think we've gotten better. So I think, you know, things that we have strengths in, right, like we can, they may be different than they were how many ever weeks ago that was, right? That was super early in the season. So I think a lot has changed for them. I think a lot has changed for us. And so uh, we'll be going back and taking a look at film from their most recent matches and, um, you know, figuring out what we're going to do on our side as well. And you were telling me before we started that you have a chance this week to kind of rest, relax a little bit. Next week, the grind starts back all over again in prep for next Friday. Yeah, uh, we actually took off uh, today. Um, and then yesterday, we just did like a light practice and then watched film together. Uh, I think they need it, right? We've been going since August, and I think people don't understand that grind going from August until now and how tough that is. These kids are also at the end of their, you know, academic semesters. They've got uh, tests on the day that we play a match. They've got presentations. They've got to reschedule, right? There's a lot going on in these kids' lives. So we're really excited to take this week off, um, heal some injuries, get some rest, get some family time, and then come back, you know, ready to go and really motivated on Monday. WHKY is a family-owned company that's been in this community for generations. WHKY is connected to our local community, and our listeners are too. Show your part of the WHKY family with the new WHKY merch. Visit WHKY.com and click on the Radio Retail Store tab. You can buy a WHKY mug, hat, and if you're a fan of local news, a Crime Report t-shirt. Remember, the Crime Report shirt is machine washable, so you can keep it clean and keep it legal. Buy WHKY merch today at WHKY.com.